Hello, welcome to another video blog post from CMSQuickStart.com. Today we're going to talk about how to install Drupal 7 on your Site5.com hosted account. Who are we? We are CMSQuickStart.com. Check out the blog link right here for the text portion of this video blog. And who am I? Doug Van from DougVan.com. Check me out there if you like. So let's get going. Drupal.org. That's where you find your Drupal project files. Uh, slash project slash Drupal is where you find the freshest Drupal 7 version. Click the download button, and I have a place I'm putting all my stuff. Over here in my sites folder, I created a, a folder called my site five site. So I'm saving it there. And I will say yes, I will use the dot tar. And there it is. Now I need to go to my file structure and take a look at it. So I'm using the Mac Finder. You're going to use Explorer if you have a PC. And here's my file in my sites folder, my my site five site folder. I'm going to double click this and unpack it and instantly it creates the uh, entire Drupal 7 installation underneath this folder here. Uh, you'll need a utility for your PC perhaps to uh, unpack this file. Uh, there's links for that on the blog post of this video. So back over to our FTP. This is our uh, file transfer protocol. We're using uh, FileZilla. You might use Fire FTP uh, plugin for Firefox or you might even use Dreamweaver. So, this is the, um, we already connected, this is the um, web root of our current current file, our current uh, remote server. Over here I need to refresh the files I've added. So here we go, let's open up this folder that we just unpacked. This is my Drupal 7 installation file structure. So I'm going to highlight everything toward all the way to the bottom and I'm going to move it over to the remote. Okay, that took a while but it's done. Here are all the files that we have over there. Now we have to make some changes to these files. For one, over here on the sites directory under default is the default settings PHP. We need to have also a settings.php. And the best way to do that is to go over to your sites folder and your default. This is my local on the left and my remote on the right. I'm going to change the name of this from default to uh, just take out the default and the dot. You have to have both of these in Drupal 7. That's why I'm doing this. You can't just rename the other one. So by doing this, I now have two. I have them both. And this one has to be writable. To do that in the, in the uh, FTP I'm using is file permissions. And then the group page, or the uh, permissions page pops up. Add write to the group permissions. And you're good to go. So now we need to make a database for our system to use, our Drupal install to use. Uh, MySQL databases, manage databases. And we're gonna, here's the database name we're going to create. CMS QS for CMS Quick Start and create. And you can ignore the warning there. Go back. Drupal u or manage users. We need to create a database user for this. So we're going to call it user. And the password is going to be password. Which of course you don't want to use that in real life, but we're just doing a demonstration. Now notice this. The user's name is not user, it is CMS demos underscore user. It prepends your username. Same thing happened to the uh, database name as well. I did not point that out. So I will copy that into my buffer here. Now check this out. This is important. Grant permissions to the MySQL database from the user. So this user and that database granting all permissions, grant permissions, go. And it's ready to go. So head back. We are done with that. Now we can go to what was our index page, which now if you refresh this, is your Drupal install. We're going to go with a standard configuration. And we're going to use English, of course. And it's asking for our information. Well, our username was down here. And up here, if you recall, was CMSQS. Our password was password. But we didn't, uh, we don't, can't see that now. And I hit save and continue. Now Drupal is, is installing 28 of the modules that it uh, wants to install for the pre-configuration. And it gives us this page and you start adding your information like you do for any Drupal site username admin and uh, a site address there you can email me at dougman or sysop at dougman.com if you want and here's the password and uh, the big ugly thing telling you your, your password's too short is gone uh, default country USA is not on the top it's where it belongs down here alphabetically and I'm in the uh, Eastern Time Zone, so I'm sticking with the New York there. This is new. You can get email notifications when you uh, when things are out of date. That's pretty handy. I like that. And uh, we're going to save this page. 
and it says that uh, they've changed the writings, uh, the permission of settings.php, so it cannot be written to anymore. That's good. Visit your new site and check it out. That old ugly welcome screen is gone. It's something very clean and simple. So now you have a Drupal install on your site5.com hosted account. I've been your lovely host today, Doug Van. Check me out at dougvan.com. And do check out cmsquickstart.com for our highly functional themed pre-configured installation profiles. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.